Hello everyone! This video will continue where we left off in the last video about Flat Picker. So if you didn't see that video, it might be helpful if you watch it before watching this one. In the last video, we created a reusable blade component that wraps Flat Picker. We did not add any configuration for Flat Picker, however. You probably want to be able to change some of Flat Picker's default configuration, and you may even want to use Flat Picker throughout your project with different configurations. In this video, we will make that work. We will have a look at how we can pass configuration to our blade component and from there on down to our flat picker instance. Before we get started, I just want to point out a small mistake I made in the last video. I claimed that we had achieved two way data binding between LiveWire and Alpine and also between Alpine and flat picker, but I actually forgot to add an Alpine watcher to update flat picker when Alpine received a new value from LiveWire. So the input got updated, but not the actual flat picker calendar. Let me show you what I mean. So if we set this to the fourth and then set it to today, if we then check out the calendar, it's still on the fourth, where it should now be on the third. To fix this, we just need to add this watcher. That makes sure that when the Alpine value variable which is entangled to our wire model gets updated it then fires this callback and that sets the correct value in our calendar let's see it work so we'll move this to the fourth press this button and now it's on the third which is correct with that out of the way we can now get started with our flat picker configuration we will start by hard coding some of flat picker's options the first option we'll give a go is the mode, which allows you to switch between single date selection, multiple date selection, and the selection of a date range. Let's first move this into a variable, which we'll pass in as a parameter. And now we can start hard coding our configuration over here. So we'll set the mode to multiple. And now we should be able to select multiple dates at the same time. So that works. We will also change the date format. So we'll add date format, date, month, year, and we should now have a different date format in our input when we select a date. And we do. The last option we'll give a go is the amount of months flat picker shows at the same time. So we'll add the show months option and set it to two. And now we should be able to pick from two months at the same time. We have now successfully coded some of flat pickers options. However, we have the same options for both of our flat picker instances. That's something we'll want to change. Our current blade component is what is called an anonymous component, meaning it has a single view file, but not an associated class. We could keep it that way, but to keep a separation of concerns, it can be helpful to have an actual class where you can write your logic. So with that said, let's create our blade component class and try to move the configuration out of the view. And the view already exists, which is correct, because that was where we have been working up until this point. And we'll clear the cache of the views to make Laravel discover that we now have an actual component class. Let's try to move our configuration out of the view into our blade component. So we'll cut it from here and we'll head over to our date picker and we'll create a method and return the configuration from there. So let's call it get flat picker configuration and we'll return the exact same configuration 
but we'll have to turn it into a valid array. So let's remove the grid braces and we'll put this in quotes. And now we have a valid array. We'll now have to output that configuration into the view. We'll use the JS helper to get valid JSON and we'll call our method to receive the configuration. So everything should now still be working exactly the same. So we still have two months, we still have our date format. So that seems to be working fine. Having moved the hard-coded configuration from the view to the blade class component, we can now start to make things dynamic. We will replace the hard-coded values by values that we receive in the constructor. So we'll add mode, date format, and show months as arguments here. Let's initialize those properties. There we go. And now we'll output them into our configuration. If you don't pass any parameters to the blade component, you will now again receive the default flat picker options. So let's see, we're back to one month and the original date format, and we can't pick more than one date. We will now head over to our live for component that renders the date picker blade components and see why you would go to all this trouble. So these are our two flat picker instances. And we'll give this one a different date format. So date month year again. And this one will change the mode. So we'll change this one to multiple. Let's see if that works. So we'll pick a date here. And we have a different date format again. And on the second one, we should be able to pick multiple dates. And that works. I hope you see how useful this can be and that it is applicable to JavaScript libraries in general, not just Flatpicker. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.